Most people think if their tooth does not hurt that they do not have a cavity, or if they don't see a big brown or black spot that they're in the clear. But cavities are sneakier than that. Oftentimes, tooth decay does not hurt at all, and cavities often hide in between your teeth. Tip one on how to prevent cavities is simple. Brush and floss properly. This seems like a no-brainer, but I will link below my proper brushing and my proper flossing videos to make sure that you are, in fact, using the correct technique. But in general, flossing, which I know no one ever wants to talk about, flossing is so important because one of the most common places for cavities to form is between your teeth. Having said this, there's lots of people that may benefit from adding more than just flossing to their routine. So that would be something like proxy brushes or water flossing. Anything that will help remove more and more debris from your teeth. And I also have videos about alternatives to flossing and different options for floss, so I'll link those below as well. Also, there's always the debate whether you should brush your teeth or floss your teeth first. But if you're purposely trying to lower your risk for cavities, the best thing to do might actually be brush first, then floss, then rinse. Here's why. Toothpaste has fluoride in it. When you brush, it only gets the parts of your teeth that you can see. So what you should try to do after you brush, don't spit, try and leave that toothpaste on your teeth, and then floss. The idea is that this will help get that fluoride toothpaste up there to reach those areas between your teeth. Then after I floss, I like to rinse. However, there are some studies that show it's good to not rinse, that it's good to leave that toothpaste on your teeth if you can. But I personally can't get into that. I don't want that chunky toothpaste left on my teeth. But if you are someone who can do that, if you can brush and floss your teeth and never rinse with water, just spit the toothpaste out and you're all set, that's great. But if you're like me and you just like can't get into that, you wanna rinse with water, that's okay because that brings me to my next tip. Tip number two, swish with a fluoride rinse before bed. If you are concerned about decay, you want to swish with an anti-cavity or a fluoride rinse every night after you brush and floss before you go to bed. By the way, pro tip, cavities can also be called dental decay or dental caries. Oftentimes, dental providers may use caries or decay interchangeably, but for the purpose of this video, I'll try to keep calling them cavities. Anyway, to help strengthen your teeth and to help your teeth fight off cavities, you should swish and rinse with a fluoride mouthwash before bed. We usually recommend before bed just because you're supposed to wait 30 minutes before you eat or drink anything. And if you're sleeping for say six to eight hours, that's a good amount of time for that fluoride to be sitting on your teeth. Tip number three, drink more water and rinse after meals. Everyone knows that drinking water is key to your overall health, right? But did you know that drinking water is also key to your overall dental health? So always try to drink and or rinse with water throughout the day if you're having any snacks. And it's actually a really good idea to try to avoid snacking in between meals. But again, personally for me, that's not an option. I need to snack. So every time I snack, I make sure I at least rinse with water. And if I'm able to, I will floss or brush. Also, if it's an option in your area, consider tap water. Multiple areas in the US provide water that contains regulated fluoride levels to promote healthy teeth. So if you have the choice between bottled water or fluoridated tap water, pick the tap. Tip number four, get your checkup x-rays. I know this can be like a controversial thing, but the goal of dental x-rays is to benefit you, not to hurt you. I know a lot of people decline or refuse x-rays because they're concerned about radiation, and I understand that. But the amount of radiation you get from checkup x-rays, also called bite wing x-rays, is so minimal, it's actually equivalent to eating four bananas. Because the potassium in bananas is technically radioactive. And a lot of things we do on a daily basis is radioactive. I actually have a whole radiation comparison chart on my website, teethtalkgirl.com, which compares the different levels of radiation of all the different tasks that we do on a daily basis. And lastly, tip number five, cut down the sugar in your diet. You want to specifically reduce fermentable carbs because they work with bacteria in your mouth to begin the decay process. 
Some popular fermentable carbs are cookies and cakes. And some less obvious ones are bread, crackers, and cereal. So technically candy is not your biggest risk for cavities. Your biggest risk is actually fermentable carbs. There are some candies that are fermentable carbs as well because yes, of course, candy causes cavities too. And believe me, I'm the first one to know that it's super hard to say no to a cookie or a brownie. So if you are going to have fermentable carbs, it's okay, but the best way to have them is with a meal. The worst way to have them is snacking on them throughout the day. If you do need to snack on them though, make sure you at least rinse with water after, or even better, brush and floss. While there may not be a way to totally eliminate cavities from your life, knowing how to prevent them can still reduce your chance of getting them. So do the best you can, that's all we can do, and I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and share if it did, and if you want to learn more about healthy teeth and a healthy lifestyle, you can go ahead and check out my website, teethtalkgirl.com. I also have those radiation charts on there, and until next Teeth Talk Tuesday, peace, love, and teeth.